Semiconductors are the brains of electronic devices, helping to control the flow of electricity. They are the basis for the digital economy and are used in almost every industry. They are produced by highly specialized companies, such as Texas Instruments, Analog Devices and NVIDIA. So why is there a massive chip shortage right now? Well, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the demand for semiconductors has skyrocketed as everyone started upgrading their laptops, smartphones, and then cars. Although semiconductor companies responded quickly to the demand surge, the lead time was too short, as it takes up to six months to produce an advanced chip. In addition, there was almost no inventory in the channel before the crisis. As a result, some components are currently facing an unprecedented shortage, likely the biggest one in the chip industry's history. The automotive sector in particular suffered a lot due to its weak supply chain management. It's estimated that because of the chip shortage, the auto industry was unable to produce 4 million cars, resulting in a loss of 90 billion US dollars in revenues. Semiconductors are an important exposure in our Tech Disruptors Fund. There are two key groups of companies that we focus on. The first is analog semis, which give us exposure to the electric vehicle and smart mobility trend. And secondly, semiconductor equipment manufacturers, which make the machines needed to build chips. In analog semis, our key picks are stocks like analog devices, Infineon and ST Microelectronics. These companies clearly fit our investment criteria of having strong business models with competitive advantages and high barriers to entry. Semiconductors are crucial in building the next generation of cars. It is estimated that the semiconductor content in an electric vehicle will be worth around $900 per car, three times as much as in today's gasoline cars. Therefore, the EV market is a huge growth opportunity for semiconductor firms and we want to be exposed to that. Our second key exposure is to semiconductor equipment companies. They benefit from two important trends. The first is that chips are getting more complex and manufacturing processes require more advanced machines. Very few companies can actually produce these machines, so it's an oligopolistic market with high barriers to entry. Secondly, there's a strong localization trend with a big push in the US and Europe to build up local semiconductor capacity in order to reduce their dependence on critical components from Asia. Both trends support the growth and revenue outlook for equipment makers. Our key holdings in semiconductor equipment makers are Applied Materials and Tokyo Electron. We see shocking statistics about Bitcoin's energy consumption. For example, its mining consumes more energy than Switzerland, or that carbon emissions from one Bitcoin transaction is equivalent to watching 120,000 hours of YouTube videos. This is because the current blockchain-based consensus mechanism that underlines Bitcoin, called proof of work, uses significant computing resources as miners are competing to solve complex cryptographic problems to append blocks. This is driving the short-term sales of NVIDIA, a producer of computer processing chips and one of our portfolio holdings. However, some cryptos are moving to, let's call it, a more eco-friendly mining approach. Ethereum, the second largest crypto after Bitcoin, is migrating to a much more energy-efficient mechanism, known as proof-of-stake. In this setup, the algorithm selects a single miner who can mine or validate blocks depending on how many coins he holds. Also, a new, highly efficient storage-based concept called proof of space is emerging and is driving strong share price appreciation of hardest drive companies such as Seagate or Western Digital. The latter is a portfolio holding of ours. These developments might ultimately change the perception on the future of blockchain-based technologies and extend their application beyond payments to other areas, such as, for example, music copyright protection, financial systems for developing countries, supply chain monitoring, and cybersecurity.